Hey guys, here's Shirley Kevin Grace reporting to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm at Memorial Park Cemetery paying my respects to NBA basketball great Wayman Tinsdale. He stood 6'9 and he played 12 seasons with the NBA. He was a 1985 first round draft choice, second overall for the Indiana Pacers. Later, he played on the Sacramento Kings and his last team was the Phoenix Suns. He also was a member of the 1984 U.S. Olympic team. After his playing days, he wound up performing jazz. He was uh, loved playing uh, bass uh, and he made a couple of uh, jazz albums. Unfortunately, he passed away at, at age 44 in 2009 from complications of uh, bone cancer. He had uh, some bone cancer in his right leg and he had part of his leg amputated and he was taking radiation treatments and uh, basically his esophagus had ruptured. His wife had rushed him to the hospital because he was having difficulty breathing. Uh, I talked to one of the groundkeepers here and he said uh, uh, Wayman's uh, funeral is probably one of the biggest that he saw and there are other famous people buried here, whether it be Sam Kennison, the comedian, uh, musician Roy Clark. Uh, there was a private funeral for old Roberts, um, but he remembered definitely that Wayman's was really, really big funeral. This is beautiful headstone right here. And you can see uh, it's got his great smile and it makes mention on here. It says Wayman's smile was contagious his wit his quick wit and humor and was infectious a merry heart does good like medicine and of course there's a picture of his bass guitar the rhythm of my life and the plays of my life his basketball and his basketball number of course on the side here other side he's got a wedding rings with his wife regina and he mentions when they were married and list the name of his kids to my family quitting is never an option so this is very beautiful it's right here by the entrance if you come come through this way if you like this video please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about the great wayman tinsdale college basketball legend Wayman Tisdale has died after a two-year battle with cancer. He was a three-time All-American at Oklahoma. He spent 12 seasons in the NBA with the Pacers, the Kings, and the Suns. Wayman Tisdale losing his battle, a two-year battle with cancer. His leg was amputated a little over a year ago. Doctors believe that would ensure the cancer would not come back. Obviously it did, and sad news to report today again, Wayman Tisdale has passed away. For more on this, we bring in Avery Johnson, our NBA analyst here at ESPN. Avery, you knew Wayman well, played with him over the years. What can you tell us about him? Wayman was a terrific man, uh, Sage, and he had a Hall of Fame career in college, and we know he was a terrific NBA player. I can remember his little left-handed jump hooks in the paint, especially when he played with the Phoenix Suns. But more than anything, Wayman was a very spiritual man, and his gifts to society wasn't just what he did on the basketball court, but all the thousands of young men and women and boys and girls that he helped at the Boys and Girls Club and YMCA's and ministries that he worked with throughout the country. So we've lost a hero, an American hero in Wayman Tisdale. Just elected to the College Basketball Hall of Fame. 
this year. Wayman Tisdale, the player, someone everybody has talked about for years. My, my husband actually just wrote in and, and said he was his all-time favorite player because of the way he played the, again, the game, but again, off the court as well. We take a look at some of his yeah. statistics here. Again, the all-time leading score in Oklahoma basketball history, three-time first-team All-American, the second overall pick by the Pacers in the 1985 NBA draft, elected to the College Basketball Hall of Fame, as I said, just this year. He did win an Olympic gold medal. That was in 1984. And, and also his smile. Some people are like magnets, Sage. Their smile can be a positive. And every time Wayman came into the room, or even when before games, he always had that smile. Now, he would elbow you afterwards, but his smile was contagious. And this has been a tough year for the NBA, recently you losing Chuck Daly, the former Hall of Fame coach for the Detroit Pistons, and now Wayman Tisdale. One of the things interesting about Wayman Tisdale is, is who or what he chose to uh, draw his motivation. He talked about some of the tough times that people have put him through and challenged him with over the years. Bobby Knight, he hated him then, but at the mm -hmm. end he said he loved him because he made him stronger, he made him better. Interesting the way he picked and chose as far as how to motivate himself. Absolutely, and you know, Wayman motivated himself because he was a strong believer in God, but also through his music. We all know he was a great musician and his music inspired a whole lot of folks all across the nation because he just recently uh, released an album. But again, Wayman Tisdale was a motivator. He was a guy that was what I called an encourager and uh, he helped people's lives go to another level by not only how he lived his life, but how he encouraged them through his communication. Wayman Tisdale, at the age of 44, way too soon, loses his too soon. battle with cancer. Avery I was always taught as a kid, God did not give me the spirit of fear. He gave me the, the spirit of sound joy and conquer and that I can make it through anything. I look at it as a bump in the road, man. Everybody's gonna have a bump in the road. It's just how you handle it. And you're gonna be able to keep that famous Wayman Tisdale smile? It will never leave me. That something will never leave.